Today, we are crafting with these wall shelves from the Dollar Tree. So whether you're paying a dollar or a dollar 25, these are still a really great deal. This is a big piece of wood, super sturdy. You're not gonna be able to break this very easily. It has pre-drilled holes as well as pre-measured string and a hook. It shows a picture on exactly how you're supposed to use it or style it. But I wanted to get creative, try some different ways to use these and just bring you some really fun ideas. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed and let's go ahead and get on into crafting. So for this DIY, I wanted to kind of use this as it is intended, but upgrade this into like a high quality item or like a nicer high end item. So I know that wall shelves are super trendy. A lot of times you see like little tassels hanging off the bottom, adding in wood beads. So I knew I could dress this up. The first thing I did was use the string that come with it as a pattern but I wanted to use the jute twine. I love the color of it, and it's really the only string that I had that was this super long, um, and it was gonna hold it up. So I ended up just adding a ton of extra at the end, so not cutting it the same size as the original string, because I am going to be turning this into a double shelf. So cut the string way longer than the original pieces, and you'll need two the same size. Now one string is going to go in like the left side and then one string is going to go on the right side and then they meet together with that metal ring at the top. So I set my strings to the side and then I went ahead and painted both of these white on both sides because this is a shelf it's going to be hanging up you're going to be able to see the top and the bottom and then to dress this up a little bit I added four beads on all sides. Now the way that the string is going to be going through the shelf you have to add your beads first as well as a little metal hook to the top and then you can feed it through the holes. On the website, I could only find like the smaller shelves in the two pack, but for these projects, I am using just the one pack of the bigger shelf. And online, I did see there was a few bad reviews saying that the only thing they were really complaining about was the holes, like the string wouldn't go through the holes. And all I did was take a paintbrush and kind of uh, push it through the holes and it got rid of like the splinters and things that wouldn't let the, the string go through. So I ended up fixing that I got all of my beads in place I got all four strings to the top layer and then I'm just going to kind of play around with it and make it look as even as possible and then I'm just tacking that jute twine down in place until I can flip this over and put some knots at the bottom so this is really what's going to hold it the hot glue would easily like if anything heavy sits on the shelf it would just pull loose but um, I am going to be creating some little knots underneath each hole so it can't slip through and then adding some extra hot glue so the rope isn't going to move around and then I'll be able to feed it through the second shelf and just kind of measure and make sure that you're going to get this as even as possible. And then the same thing for this shelf. I'm going to tack it with hot glue so it doesn't move around and it won't get uneven when I'm trying to tie these knots and then tie some more knots underneath and that's going to really make it stay in place. And then I thought it would be really cute if I made some little like jute twine tassels to go at the bottom. So I just wrapped it around my finger like 20 to 25 times, tied a string around the top, but I left enough space that I could feed this onto the twine that's left over and this is going to make it look like it's actually like a part of the jute twine and then I do end up hot gluing this in place so that they will like stick straight down and not dangle so it does actually look like it's coming off of the rope. And then I stuck a little wooden bead in there just to hold the tassel up while it was drying and left it there. But I feel like this is such an upgrade. I cannot believe you can create such a gorgeous shelf from the Dollar Tree for just like $2.50. How crazy is that? Another project that I am in love with was creating a wooden beaded riser. So I was inspired by this photo. 
I picked up two of these wall shelves just using the wood in this project and then I needed to glue this bead garland all the way around. So you can find wood beads a lot of different places. You can purchase them off of Amazon um, but I love to pick up these long garlands from Hobby Lobby and they put them out often with their seasonal decor so I grab them when I see them. Now I this is going to look crazy for a little bit but I needed to glue some of the beads in like closer to the center so that this wasn't going to be weak in the middle and I could put some pressure in the middle and it wasn't going to mess up or anything so um, I put the beads down in the middle and then they weren't as tall as the beads I'm putting on the edges so I guess whenever you turn it to the side they stick up a little bit further so it wasn't going to let me glue the top piece down so I did put in just those popsicle stick scrap pieces that I had to use kind of as little shims to make this a little bit bigger and then I was able to glue the top down on this and I'll paint it white To elevate this a little bit, I found these really cool little napkin rings from the Dollar Tree. It was in like the kitchen supply area and I glue those on all four sides, just adding a ton of hot glue around them because you're not going to be able to see them. And then like I mentioned, in painted the entire thing white. You could also choose to spray paint this, but I wanted just that tiny bit of wood color to show through and make it look a little bit more distressed. These type of risers can be so pricey out at Kirkland's or Home Goods, but you can create your own for just a few bucks and it looks really, really cute and you'll be able to, to paint it any color that you'd like. You guys know that palette signs are my jam. I love making them out of everything. So picking up three more of these, I keep calling them wall shelves, but at this point I'm just buying it for the plank of wood. Um, but I filled in all of the holes with some wood filler, sanded that down, and then I wanted to place a bunny on the front for a, a cute like Easter palette sign but I didn't want it to kind of look elementary maybe. So I wanted to paint it the lightest colors that I could get. The blue still was a little bit saturated. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but it still looks really, really cute. I know Easter is all about bringing in fun colors, um, but the purple and the pink are exactly what I was going for. So I would have went maybe a little bit lighter on the blue, but um, I intentionally didn't mix the paint a hundred percent. So you would see a lot of those white um, streaks in it or brush strokes so I really loved how that turned out. I put a couple of wood pieces in the back to hold this together and then painted the bunny white just so he would really pop off of the front and added in some little floral around his neck as well as a little jute twine or a burlap bow and you could add as much detail as you wanted here but I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible because I'm gonna like decorate around it and I just didn't want it to be too busy. I just couldn't leave that little hole so I had to fill it in and paint over it and I feel like it gave it more of a finished look. I knew that would have drove me crazy but so happy with how this turned out. Here is a couple of more super simple projects that you can make using just a single piece of these wall shelves. I actually stained this. I'm so sad. My favorite all time flagstone stain. I've said that a thousand times in my videos. Um, I cannot find it anymore. I bought it at Walmart. It was on clearance. So I'm guessing they clearanced them out because I don't see it anymore. So I tried to find some similar colors and I didn't even get close. So I found um, a couple that I thought would be really cute. This is kind of dark for my normal decor, but to make like little patio signs, um, I really like how it turned out. 
I did fill in the holes, sand them down, and then put um, a jute twine hanger on this with some beads. And I think this is the cutest little sign, like I mentioned, for a patio or a covered like outdoor porch area. Um, but I think this is too, too cute. And then I'm going to be making a steak version so that you can put this down in like a flower pot or even outside in your flower beds. And then I do want to mention, I just created a huge DIY. I just posted a video with this project in it and I love it. I created this huge planter out of five of these wall shelves. It turned out gorgeous, filled it full of florals and just think it is adorable. It looks so pretty on a dining table or entryway table. So be sure to go check out that video if you want to see more. which one of today's projects was your favorite and if you are finding these out at your Dollar Tree don't forget to hit the thumbs up button make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one happy crafting bye